Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. Sunday, Sunday. Today is God's Day, yeah. The day we pray to God that these bets cash. Can I get a cash bet? Cash bet. Hallelujah. More money to you. All right. Enough with all the funny talk. Let's get right into this. Dante DiVincenzo over 13 and a half points. Minus 108. DraftKings. He didn't hit this last game. Knicks lost. He got poked in the eye right in the beginning and had a shitty game. Um... Numbers normally have 15 or 17 and a half, brought down to 13 and a half. Uh, it's a bounce back game. I feel like it's a revenge game. They lost. He's going to come back trying to prove a point. I bet he's going to go over this by halftime. All right. Uh, the last 40 games, he has not missed this twice in a row. So, meaning that he missed the last game, he. Not missing it tomorrow. All right, Dante over 13 and a half points. Mark my words, halftime. That's Philly. We're going Josh Hart over 14 and a half points, plus 102 on DraftKings. Um, he's averaging 20, 20 last game, 21, 22 the game before. Plays almost the whole game. You see down here, 43 minutes, 48 minutes, 41 minutes. Uh, he um, He's hit four threes in each of the last three games. So, I mean, if you wanted, you could take the threes. I feel like the points is the safer bet. He's going to go over this, definitely. Uh, and it's plus money, so taking it. Taking it either way. If it wasn't plus money, it's probably going to get bumped up. It's already moved from 13 and a half to 14 and a half. Um, so get it up and get on it while you can. Josh Hart over 14 and a half points. Sticking with the Knicks, I'm going Isaiah Hartenstein over 16 and a half points and rebounds. Minus 112 on uh, DraftKings. Um, He's gone over this last two games. He's been scoring really well. Almost going over this just in points. Uh, he's a really good rebounder. He's got capabilities grabbing 10, 12, 14 boards. Um, Robinson got hurt last game with that bum-ass cheap play from Embiid. Grabbing his leg and pulling him down. Uh, Got to try to do anything to win. Like I said earlier, uh, DiVincenzo got poked in the eye. I mean, that was accidental, but Embiid's play was dirty. So, Hartenstein is going to be playing more minutes. Um, if if he stays out of foul trouble, he should go over this. Even if he gets in foul trouble, he should go over this. 16 and a half points and rebounds. Um, I'm expecting a good game out of the Knicks. Let's go New York, go New York, go, go New York, go New York, go. All right, play number four, going with the 330 game. Ivic Zubiak played this the other day. Minus 105, DraftKings. Gone over this the last three games. Um, all in the playoffs. Numbers 22 and a half. He got 27 last game, 25, 35 points and rebounds, if I didn't say it. Oh, excuse me. Um, Zubiak succeeded 22 and a half points, rebounds for the last five games, averaging 27.4. Uh, watching the game, I seen he really, he's just saying in life, he takes pride in his work. You can tell he really, Puts effort in. He um he gets up. He was getting upset with his teammates. Clippers got destroyed the other day. Um, I mean, shit. I took Paul George. He's I think he scored seven points. Uh, 
I took uh, the other clown. He ended up getting ejected, but he had zero points anyway. He like zero for ten. Uh, Washington. He was on the other team, but he got ejected. I, I took him for threes, and he shot bricks. But that's besides the point. Zubiak puts his all in his effort in, and he's been going way over this. Uh, and he's going to do it tomorrow. So we're going Zubiak over 22 and a half. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Today's God's day. Today we pray to God that these bets cash. Can I get a cash bet? Cash bet. Hallelujah. More money to you. No, nah, but uh, I said yesterday I dropped in the community that I wasn't going to put out a video today. Uh, this video is for tomorrow. I'm talking about earlier. And then uh, I woke up. I had some good sleep. And uh, I made a video for the Cavs game. And, of course, it skunked Mobley and Wendell Jr. I played them unders. And they had the best games of the playoffs of the fucking year. But uh, then I dropped a bunch of other plays throughout the day in the community section. And I uh, got five right, three wrong all day. So, let me know if you guys got them. Um, ended up in the green for today, so that felt good. It hasn't been in the green in a couple of days. Been a little rough. Um, I started making these videos to help people. Uh, I know a lot of people, as well as like me in the beginning, uh, I stayed working and depositing my money just to lose it over the weekend. And... Uh, you know, and I'm at the point where I don't do that anymore. So even though I had a rough week, it was, you know, I was fine. As long as, you know, you keep the same unit size, proper mindset, don't tilt, all these things, no parlays. And, uh, you know, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. But uh, let me know if these, if these videos are helping. Obviously, they're not helping when I lose. I understand that, and I feel bad. Believe me, the weight of making these videos for people and and not and not succeeding um, it bothers me. Believe me. So uh, I'm going for the sweep today. Well, tomorrow. I mean, it's Sunday. It's Saturday night right now. But uh, hope all is well. God bless, and uh, let's get that money. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.